Hi, I'm Patrick Hayes. I'm a professor and crop breeder at Oregon State University. I've spent my career working with barley, a tasty and nutritious whole grain. I start most days with a bowl of barley cereal. That's a great way to lower cholesterol and it aids in digestion. Most current varieties of barley have a hull that sticks to the seeds. We call that an adhering hull. Unfortunately, that means that food processors have to grind off that hull to make a pearl barley. And that pearl barley does not have a whole grain designation. Recently, my team bred a new variety of barley that does not have an adhering hull, and that means that it qualifies as a whole grain. Let's see how they did that. Modern barley varieties have ancient roots. Barley was domesticated about 10,000 years ago, and those first barleys had adhering hulls. We call them cover types. About 2,000 years later, some enterprising agriculturists spotted barleys that did not have adhering hulls. We call those hullus types, and they selected those for use as food. One of the places where that hullus barley really took off was the Himalayan region. Let's fast forward to the 21st century in North America. We had a variety here that we developed that was doing well under our conditions, but it was a covered type. Colleagues in Virginia had a variety that was a naked type. We wanted the best of those two varieties, and so we crossed them. The goal of that crossbreeding was to ultimately develop a variety that would have the best attributes of both parents. That is, that it would have good yield, it would survive the winter, it would be resistant to diseases, and it would be hullus. After the cross-pollination, we grow the progeny for multiple generations, and we test the potential new varieties in different locations and in different years, and we're looking for that perfect combination of traits. Once we found those traits in a single plant, that becomes the basis of the new variety. We test for uh, a lot of different traits, including flavor. These barleys have been tested for their baking ability and for making other tasty and nutritious whole grain products. We even make malt and beer from that malt, and it's really a delicious beer. Here in Oregon, we have a barley day, and this year our variety was featured. The crew had named that barley Buck. It's called Buck because it's a Hullus variety, and Hullus varieties are also known as naked varieties. That gives us Buck the Naked Barley. Once we knew that Buck was a good variety of barley, we registered it with the USDA. We keep seed here at Oregon State University and in the USDA seed banks. That ensures that all of the hard work that went into developing this healthy, tasty, and productive variety can be shared around the world. Crop breeders do their part to ensure food sustainability. I'm Patrick Hayes, a crop breeder at Oregon State University. I help to feed the world and to keep it happy.